Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. It is the last day of April and it's time to share my beauty empties for the month of April. Um, you can see that I brought a rug in here today. <laughs> So I stole the rug from my dining room to put into this room. Um, if this is the first video that you're watching in a few days, um, I uploaded my new filming room tour on Tuesday, I think it was. And um, people were not a fan of the Echo, and I get it. I am not either. Um, however, as well, I don't know, some of your states are open. Oregon is shut down still. So uh, I can't just go waltzing into Ikea and Home Goods to buy the things that I need for here. So I stole some furniture, <laughs> i.e. chairs, uh, from my dining room, <laughs> as well as this huge eight by 10 rug. I'm hoping that it at least, I'm hoping that it at least dampens the sound a little bit. We'll see. Guys, just bear with me. Um, this is a little bit of a work in progress here, so I hope that you can be patient. Um, I think getting curtains is going to make the biggest difference in this room, to be totally honest. So um, we'll get there. Fingers crossed we'll get there. I have a huge beauty empties for you guys this month. Guys, this thing is almost overflowing. So. Um, I always feel like I have to put this disclaimer out there because some people get confused. No, I did not start and finish all of these things during the month of April. Um, I'm not that aggressive with my skincare and hair care and makeup. Um, all of these things were in various degrees of being finished and um, in the last couple of years I have made a little bit more of a personal effort to um, finish things when I have them open versus just opening new things all the time and adding that to my pile of open things. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys probably do this too. You get something new and you're like, oh, I want to use this mousse instead of my old mousse. Even though my old mousse is amazing, I have to try the new thing. So then you have a bunch of mousse, mousses, mies, mies, I, I don't know, mousse. You have a lot of mousse going if you like mousse like I do. Um, but yeah, anyway, so no, I didn't finish all of this stuff in April. Well, I, I finished it in April. I didn't start it all in April. I grabbed a few things from my bathroom this morning on the way in here because I finished a couple more things this morning. So, um, this morning I finished the Eva NYC City Grit Matte Texture Spray. Good texture spray. Um, yeah, it's going to make your hair feel a little grippy, but that's the point. Um, it is called City Grit after all. So it's supposed to give your hair texture. If you have fine, thin um, strands, like my 57 strands here, um, give this a try. It's super affordable. Um, by the way, I will link all of the things that I will personally repurchase that I think are totally worth it in the description box. I don't think I'm going to link everything here because there's too much stuff, but my favorites, I'll put those down below for you guys. But anyway, this is great. Uh, like, I think $11.99, good price point too. So there's that. Also, I have, I can squeeze one more use out of this. <laughs> this is my Trenton Owen. I'm gonna be finishing the last little tiny bit that I know I can squeeze out tonight, but I didn't want to um, like leave this <laughs> for next month's empties. So yeah, anyway, finish my first two of Trenton Owen. I love it. It is more effective than over-the-counter retinols. That being said, I do think that over-the-counter retinols still have a place in my routine because I am starting to use those on my neck and my, my decolletage hair. So um, yeah, uh, I would not be able to use tretinoin on my neck meat. Let me tell you right now, uh, I tried a little spot. N nope, not happy. My neck is not happy with that. So there's that. Okay, let's get into it. Also, just this morning, I finished another Balance and Brighten. Um, Balance and Brighten is my Holy Grail powder foundation. I'm just tamping on it so that you can see there's nothing in there. This is a terracotta tile that they bake the cream product onto. Um, so when you see this part, it might look like there's still foundation in there. There's not. It is done. 
Um, I love Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. This is still my go-to. Um, I have a couple of backups, but I'm getting to the point where I'm uncomfortable with the number of backups because I have less than three. <laughs> I love that powder foundation that much. Um, finished the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush uh, Body Fragrance Mist. By the way, <laughs> someone said in a comment the other day that they get really annoyed with the way that I pronounce the Bum Bum Cream. I'm aware that it's Boom Boom Cream. I know. But I read it as Bum Bum, so I call it Bum Bum Cream. Anyway, smells just like the Boom Boom Cream. Uh, it's delightful. Love it. Already have a backup. Bought the perfume. Don't buy the perfume. It has zero lasting power. I'm gonna try to be efficient and fast. Verb hydrating shampoo and conditioner. Yes, 100% repurchased. Fabulous. I actually like it better than the Ghost shampoo and conditioner. So um, I'll be buying the liter size of that come November. Uh, Craig finished this. Uh, the charcoal purifying shampoo from Hosk, wonderful if you have greasy, oily hair or you get really gross hair from work, like Craig does. Um, that's a must for him. Love it. I think I already have a backup. Bought a backup of this because I loved it so much. It's in my little closet over here. The Dr. Loretta Gentle Hydrating Cleanser with Marine Peptides. Yes. So gentle, so effective. Love that in the morning. Cannot recommend it enough. Uh, Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Booster with Ceramides. Wonderful hyaluronic acid. I don't know. I don't think you need to spend a fortune on hyaluronic acid necessarily. I'm sure uh, The Ordinary has a lovely one. You guys know how I feel about The Ordinary. I don't really like a lot of their products, but I'm sure their hyaluronic acid is fine. Um, I think Good Molecules probably also has one as well. Um, anyway, I really like this one. I do have a backup because I got a bunch when they were on sale. Um, yeah, I, I will continue to use this, but I don't know. I just, I tend to like all Paula's Choice products. Ugh. So sad when I finish this. Murad Renewing Eye Cream. Yep, all gone. I even scooped the last little bit out. Came in this really nice airless pump. Fabulous. So hydrating. I did a video, what was it, last, the week before last, where I talked about um, milia underneath the eyes. And then also what eye creams I have that don't cause the milia underneath my eyes. That was in that video. I smell Penny. Yeah. Or is it Stella? Penny and Stella. Penny and Stella, okay. Hello. I knew I smelled something rotten. <laughs> it was that little doggy. She's so nice, you guys. Okay, uh, Shea Moisture Raw Shea and Kapuwaso Daily Defense Hand and Body Scrub. This was lovely, but I'm afraid they've discontinued it. Um, I like to use scrubs on my legs before I shave my legs. God, this smells good. Kind of in the same vein as the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Uh, yeah, you should, if you can find this somewhere. Um, I really do think they've discontinued it. I can't find it on the Sephora website or really anywhere else. Maybe Amazon? I don't know, but it's lovely. Finished uh, this. Uh, there's also the shampoo in here. Um, the Make Me Pastel Pink Shampoo and Conditioner from Bright. Um, yeah, very pink. Um, didn't really work that well on my gray hair. Definitely made it a little bit warmer in color. Uh, not a hydrating product. <laughs> So, um, I'm glad I finished it. I won't personally repurchase this. If you have bleached hair that you dye pink, you should get that as a maintenance product because it is definitely pigmented. It just doesn't want to really grip to gray hair for whatever reason. Pink doesn't want to hold in my hair. Purple and blue hold like nobody's business, but pink, not so much. So, oh, so so sad when I finished this, you guys. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. Okay, so the stuff that comes in their tub that they have all the time is exactly the same. What I loved about this is the smell. You guys know I am a sucker for all of the smelly things. This smelled like honey, like honey and warm milk. So soothing and just warm and comforting and hydrating as I'll get out on my fine hair without weighing it down. This was limited edition last fall. I should have bought more. 
I knew that it was limited edition. I didn't do it because I was like, ooh, don't, you have so much. But see, I regret it. It's fine, I'll get over it. Maybe they'll bring it back. Um, a Bumble and Bumble Prep Primer. Okay, so this is a lightweight pre-styler for fine hair. I liked this, but I don't really think it m made much of a difference. The thing that it did was it allowed me to re-wet my hair a little bit before going in with the rest of my styling products before then going in to blow dry my hair. I know that sounds silly, but because my hair is so fine and thin, it dries very quickly when I get out of the shower. And I put my makeup on first and then I go blow dry my hair. And I don't like putting my mousse and other styling products into dry hair. So I would wet it with this and it did a good job of wetting my hair again, but I just, I don't know that it did anything. Primers, when it comes to hair stuff, I just don't know that they do much. But I wanted to try it, and I'm glad I did. Now I know that I don't need to repurchase it. This is delicious. Uh, I have actually sent this to a couple of people because I think it's so delicious. <laughs> this is the uh, Soap and Glory um, Magnificoco uh, Clina Colada. It's a shower gel. It's delightful. If you like coconutty, beachy scents, you should give this a go. I'll be linking that down below. It's delightful. Also, they're Call of Fruity. Also an amazing scent. We're getting to the bottom. Gloves in a bottle, shielding lotion. I've talked about this a lot. If you have dry, flaky hands, you need this in your life. They also have an SPF version. I'm going to link down below a little duo from Amazon that has the regular for nighttime and the SPF 15 to put in your purse so that you can apply that to your hands before you go driving around with your hands on the windshield and the sun just beaten down and aging your hands. Fabulous. Uh, Murad Environmental Shield Essential Sea Cleanser. Okay, this is the first Murad product where I was like, meh. I just, I didn't think this was that special, especially not for the price point. I'd say skip this. Skip this. This was a huge, massive bummer of a fail. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Resurfacing Micro Exfoliant. There's nothing micro about these exfoliants. It basically has what is, it felt like the St. Ives apricot scrub. That's what it's, it's, that's what it felt like. Like huge granules of like ground walnut shells, essentially. Um, so I did not finish this on my face because even for me who likes a good exfoliating scrub, um, it was just too much. Um, so I finished this on my body, worked great there, but no way would I ever repurchase this for the price point on my body. I like the tree hut scrubs for that. Um, I finished the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. So um, I ended up finishing this because I was using it mostly on my neck down to like my decollete and even on like my upper arms here. It was just really good for this area during the month of April. As you guys know, I was dealing with a little bit of an eczema outbreak right here on my neck. And um, this was the moisturizer that I was able to use on that that really soothed that area. And so I just started bringing it down kind of all over. So that means I went through it quickly, but it was inexpensive, so I don't feel bad about it. I would recommend that if you are on a little bit more of a budget and you're looking for a good moisturizer that's hydrating, you might want to check that out. Um, I love this. I love it so much. I use it every single day of my life. Um, it's my Paula's Trace Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. I love it. It goes on my face every single morning. Um, it is a mineral SPF, so it has zinc. Zinc in uh, zinc oxide 13%. Um, now it helps to control my oil, it protects my skin, it has a little bit of a tint, so tiny bit of coverage. Works fabulous with all of my powder foundations on top of it. I just cannot say enough good stuff about this particular SPF. Um, I've worn it for years, I will never give it up. If Paula's Choice ever stops making this, I will be very confused on what to go to next because, well, color science is pretty good. I guess I could go to the color science, but this is more affordable. So, uh, I love this. 
Okay, uh, dang, I did good on the skincare this month. Holy cannoli. All right, um, I also finished my Paula's Choice Peptide Booster with Amino Acid Complex. I do really enjoy this. Um, I have some other peptide uh, containing products that I need to finish up, but I will repurchase this at some point in the future because I just like being able to add a couple of drops to a moisturizer, for example. Um, I think that's what these boosters are really great for is just putting in what you need with products that you already have just to give them a little bit of a <laughs> boost. Um, good stuff. Um, I didn't save all of these, but I finished the entire box of my Foreo Make My Day Hyaluronic Acid and Red Algae UFO Mask. Um, I really like this a lot. I will repurchase this. I did, by the way, get another one. I'll be uploading my Sephora haul on Monday, so stay tuned for that. Um, in my Sephora haul, I got the Kate Somerville uh, Exfolicate Treatment. Spoiler. Uh, I also bought some other stuff from Kate Somerville, their exfoliate cleanser, and then I also got a couple of these smaller exfoliates. Um, I don't know why I just didn't get one of like the bigger ones. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm an idiot. But anyway, um, I do love the exfoliate. This isn't for everybody. Some people's skin gets really irritated by this, but my skin loves it. Excellent exfoliator. Also, didn't bring all of these in here, but at least a couple times a week, I uh, use and love my Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels from Dr. Dennis Gross. Will never be without this. Love it. Oh look, there's a couple of exfoliates. Yeah, I got a couple of these in the um, in the order from Kate Somerville as well, and then one came from Sephora. I selected that as my sample. Um, I also didn't bring all of these in here, but uh, these are the uh, Line Smoothing Hydro Masks from City Beauty. And um, I'm gonna put this off to the side because if you've been here this long, there's giveaway, so stay tuned. I'm just gonna finish this real quick and then we'll talk about the giveaway. Um, mascaras, uh, City Lash from City Beauty. I'm also gonna set this off to the side. Um, the Buxom uh, Extrovert Mascara, no. Mm -hmm. I opened this and I just never reached for it. I'm just gonna toss it. This was a terrible mascara, didn't like it. Made my lashes clumpy, didn't separate them, didn't give me the volume that I wanted. Just a hard to use applicator, I just wasn't into it. Um, Ooh, made me sad to finish this, but I do have a backup that I need to put into my um, bedroom now. This is the Strivectin Double Fix for Lips. This has a plumping vertical, plumping and vertical um, line treatment. So one side is the, it's like bone dry. <laughs> I use the heck out of this. Um, one side is the lip uh, hydrator. The other side is um, this is uh, for your lip lines. So you smear this like around your lips and tap it in and then you put the moisturizer on your lips uh, or the treatment on your lips and then you go to bed and you wake up with plump, soft lips. Um, the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara, good. I don't think I'd repurchase it, but I thought it was good. It's a good volumizer, I suppose. Um, the Hourglass uh, Brow Sculpting Pencil in the shade uh, Ash. This, I don't have very much of it left. There's, that's all that's left, but uh, it's dry. This got dried out, so that's a bummer. So I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna toss it. I don't need it anyway. I always get questions about my brows. If you're wondering about these things, they're tattooed on my face. Like, I had them tattooed on my face. And then every day after I cover them up with my SPF to protect my tattoo, it mutes it, it mutes them out a little bit. So I go over it with a little bit of this Tarte Gray Brow Powder, which unfortunately is being discontinued. I'll link this down below if you want it, just to buy as many as you think you're gonna need for the rest of your life because nobody makes gray brow powders, no one. And if they do, they're not the right shade of gray. You know who needs to hire me is some brow company to tell them the shades of gray that they need for the gray haired ladies out there. Okay, you guys, let's do a giveaway. So City Beauty reached out to me and they want to do a Mother's Day giveaway. 
and um, this is gonna be real simple. <laughs> it's gonna be really simple to enter, we'll talk about that in a second, but I wanna let you guys know what they are including in the giveaway. So they are, they let me pick, which I love, because I picked some of my favorites. So um, they are including a box of the Line Smoothing Hydro Masks, which I think are amazing. And this is all in honor of Mother's Day. So um, hopefully you'll give these things to your mom, or if you're a mom yourself, treat yourself. Um, they're also including the City Lash Mascara, which I really, really like. They are also including their Restorative Hand Treatment, which I recently started using and absolutely love. Um, I used that right before going to bed, um, since I ran out of this, <laughs> but they actually pair really nicely together. Um, so they're including that. And then as a bonus, they also decided to toss in a tube of their City Lips uh, Lip Gloss in the shade Clear. You guys, I've mentioned this one multiple times as well. Mine is not quite as clear anymore because I put it on top of my lipstick sometimes, but these, um, these are some of my favorite products. They're amazing, especially these masks. So I was really happy when Ryan from City reached out and asked if I wanted to participate in a Mother's Day giveaway, and I was like, heck yeah. So the only thing you have to do to enter is as follows. You have to go subscribe to City Beauty's YouTube channel. You have to go follow them on their, follow them on their Instagram. You have to be subscribed to my channel, because... You should be anyway. <laughs> and then um, give this video a like um, and just leave any comment down below. Um, say hi, give me an emoji, whatever. So uh, what I'm going to do is for next Friday favorites and flops, I will be announcing the winner. Make sure that you watch and what you're going to do is give me your address and then I will pass it along to City Beauty and they will send the products directly to you. And then you can either keep them for yourself if you're a mom or give them to your mama as a Mother's Day gift. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, a big thanks to City Beauty for sponsoring this giveaway. I do genuinely really love their products. I think they have an amazing line. They are a little bit more of a luxury brand in terms of price point, but the products I think are worth it. They have great ingredients. Everything that I've used from them has worked really, really well for me. Um, and I'm just, I was really excited that they would offer to do something like this. I know a lot of you could probably use a little bit of pampering. So anyway, if you would like to be entered, um, I believe this is just US only, so, um, Go ahead and enter in the comments down below and then Stella and I will go through and we'll pick a winner uh, that we will announce in next Friday favorites and flops so all right you guys have a great rest of your day thanks for sitting through this whole thing um, I'm gonna go and do some recycling and upload this video and put some links in for you guys and I'll see you tomorrow for this week's Friday favorites and flops so um, it's next week that I'm announcing the winner so you guys have a week to enter. All right. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.